Hello, everyone. Can you guys say hi? Hi. hi. We are already on day 10 of our 12 day adventure into discovering Easter. So, once again, we are using the resurrection eggs to tell the story of Easter in a totally kid friendly style. So, if you have little ones there in the house, go ahead and grab them and have them come and join you. If you are watching this at a later time, um, grab them, watch it, and uh, let it be a great little time that you get to spend with them on just talking about really? Easter. So we have taken the resurrection eggs. We've opened up one egg every day. And uh, for the Look last how many nine eggs days, we have left. Yeah, we have two more after today, don't we? Yes. And uh, so, again, just each egg has an item in it that is used to help tell the story. And I get to do the last Easter. one. Rowan and Raina say hi. Can you guys say hi? Hi. Hello, Rowan and Raina. Um, so, let's read about today. Oh, Daddy. Yep, that's the donkey. Um, okay, move it back. Here we go. Daddy, yes. I'm going to let them know something. Okay, what are you going to let them know? Um, I get to do the last egg, yeah. which, which is the white one. Yep, you'll get to do that and on Easter. We, and on Liam, Easter. And Liam gets to, Liam do, gets to the do the pink, pink one egg. tomorrow. Yep. All right, so here we go. Today's egg is light blue, and so we will read about it first before we open it. When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who also was a disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be given to him. And Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen shroud and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had cut in the rock. And he rolled a great stone to the end of the tomb and went away. And that's from Matthew 27, verses 57 through 60. So Jace, go ahead and open up that light blue egg for us and let's see what is inside today. I'm sure you've probably already figured this out just from the little bit we just read from Matthew. Let but me spread it out. Open it out. Let's see it. I did open it. Okay, let's see it. What What is it? A All linen right. linen foil. Linen cloth. Linen cloth. Yep, that's that's the linen cloth, and that's representative of the, the shroud it, it was in the Jesus' lights. body was wrapped in in order to be put Hee-haw. inside the tomb. Yep, and that's the donkey. it was in the light blue egg. In the light blue egg, you're right. All right, so here we go. Let's read about that. After Jesus died, a man named Joseph asked if he could bury him. This was a brave and loving thing for Joseph to do. Remember that the men who killed Jesus did not believe that he was the son of God. But Joseph did believe, and he wanted Jesus to have a proper burial. Joseph knew that this might get him in trouble with the soldiers, but he was brave and asked for permission anyway. Joseph wrapped the body of Jesus in cloth and buried him in a tomb cut out of rock like a shallow cave. Joseph then went away sad because Jesus was dead, and he wondered what would happen next. So as we continue tomorrow, same time, we will learn what happened next. Of course, today being Good Friday, this is the day that Jesus was crucified. Hold on. And this is the day that they took him down. Joseph took him down. Hold on. And bury him in his tomb because they had to have that done before the Sabbath, which was Saturday. Um, um, But we will learn more about that. Um, um, Yes, Jace, go ahead. Today, we got to dye Easter eggs and hide them. Yep, we did, didn't we? You got to do that with Nana, didn't you? And a donkey goes hee-haw. Yep, and a donkey goes hee-haw. So, uh, parents, just a reminder, tonight at 6 o'clock, we're going to do an online communion time together. And so I encourage you to get your um, juice, your bread. Um, your crackers and join us online again at six o'clock on Facebook and uh, we're just going to do a, a good Friday we'll do some reading from some scriptures and then we will take communion together so join us for that if you can if not we'll see you tomorrow we already opened yep those are the ones we already opened um, we'll see you tomorrow but yes we've opened up the donkey we've opened up the three pieces of silver we've opened up the praying hands that represented Jesus praying in the garden. We did the rooster, which is when Peter denied Jesus. We did the spear that the the, uh, soldiers used to make sure that Jesus was indeed dead. They put the spear in his side. We did the three nails that they used to nail Jesus to the cross. Good job. We did the crown of thorns, which they pushed down onto his head when they were mocking him. And we also did the whip that they used 
when they um, scourged Jesus prior to mocking him and, can I tell you and this crucifying him. And today, and today mm-hmm, we did this. The linen cloth, which was representative of what Joseph used to wrap Jesus' body when laying him in a tomb. So again, stay tuned tomorrow. We'll find out what happens next, just as Joseph wondered. I'm sure many of you are wondering as well. So join us tomorrow. Have the kiddos ready, and uh, we'll see you then. Enjoy the rest of your day.